What's up, my name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick Hyper-V tutorial guide, I'll show you the fastest way to get a Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 virtual machine up and running. No, you don't need to download the full installation media, set up a Hyper-V virtual machine from scratch. Instead, there's a resource available from Microsoft officially that you can basically just download a completely ready virtual machine in Windows 7, 8 and 10 to get going as fast as possible. While this is designed around testing Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer, you can use this for pretty much anything. It's a fully licensed 90-day free trial, essentially, for all of the aforementioned virtual machines. Though, when that 90-day trial does run out, you can simply roll back to the start and just like that, you have a fresh machine. If you'd like to install things to test over those coming months, Make sure to install them and then create a snapshot so you can roll back to that. But with the explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and download and set up our virtual machines. In the description down below, you'll find the Microsoft Edge developer page with virtual machines on it. All we want to do is from the drop down here, simply select the operating system you want to download, Windows 7, 8 or 10. For me, I'll be selecting 10 over here. Unfortunately, they don't have Windows 10 32-bit and they don't, for some reason, have Windows 11. Anyways, selecting that and choosing a virtual machine platform from one of these here, including VirtualBox, Vagrant, VMware, Hyper-V and Parallels. In my case, I'll be using Hyper-V. Simply click download zip to start the download of the full operating system as is. While it is a six gigabyte zip file, everything's set up for you, ready. There's even an account and a password set up. There's basically no setup required to get into a functioning version of Windows. That being said, if you're limited by bandwidth, you may want to rather download the official installation media, which will be about a third or half of the size here. Anyways, when it's done downloading, open it up and you'll see a couple of files inside of it. We have virtual hard disks and virtual machines. The virtual machines are just pointers to what the hard disk and settings are. And the virtual hard disks, of course, is where the data is stored. You can see the full size when we extract this will be around 16 gigabytes. So make sure you have enough space on whatever drive you're going to be placing this on. This may be a little bit more bloated once again than making a fresh install. But for speed, this is definitely the fastest way of doing things. For me, I'll open up a new tab. Head across to my SSD, Hyper-V, and I'll make a new folder here called Win10Temp. Inside of here, I'll simply drag both of these folders from our zip into here. So I'll copy paste them in my case, and it'll start extracting. All we need to do is wait for this to finish, then we can open up Hyper-V. There we go. Now we can simply open up Hyper-V as you would usually, and we'll start by clicking Import Virtual Machine on the right hand side over here. Then we'll select Browse and we'll navigate to where we just extracted things. In my case, it's H Hyper V Win 10 Temp. Inside of this folder here, simply click Select Folder, then Next. You should see MS Edge Win 10 or whatever version it is, date created, Next. And we can choose one of the three options here. We can choose to register it in place, so wherever we extracted it, or we can choose to restore it using a unique ID or copy the virtual machine and create a new unique ID. You'd usually want to register in place unless you already have one of these running, in which case you'd choose the second option. But for now, register the virtual machine in place and next, then finish. And just like that, we have our new system set up, MS Edge Win 10. Right click settings and let's customize some things here. You'll want to change the amount of memory in my case, I'll give it 8192 megabytes. I'll give it some more virtual processors. So six cores is pretty good. Maybe even 12. Hard drive is fine as is. And there's not much else here we need to change. I'll click OK. And now we can right click connect. And of course, start up our virtual machine for the first time. Now, there's already a user account and a password already set up. All we need to do is get into the operating system. So choosing a screen size, connecting once more. There we are i.e. user. All we need to do is type in capital P A S S W zero R D exclamation mark enter. So it's capital password with a zero and an exclamation mark after it. Then when you get to the main screen, you'll see this here. Essentially, it's telling us to take a snapshot when we're done installing whatever we need to, so we can quickly reset it after the trial expires. And of course, we can also rearm it over here, which is possible for Windows XP, Vista and 7. Maybe possible to extend the initial trial period if there are rearms left, etc. 
we can run these commands here to try and make it last longer than 90 days. But for Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, you're not able to rearm the trial. Essentially, that's where the rollback comes in. So now all you need to do is install the software you want to keep, set up your system as you would usually, and it's a fully fledged installation of Windows 10 where you can go ahead and download, test your software, etc, etc. It's all set up for you and ready. You can change the background, you can remove this little watermark down here if you so wish with third-party software. It's all really up to you. Though, when you're done setting it up, click the power button to turn it off, shut down, and when the virtual machine has turned off eventually, we should go ahead and select it. Then you'll see the checkpoints is empty. I'll right click it and choose checkpoint. Upon doing so, we'll make a new checkpoint here. And in the future, we can return to this point by right clicking and choosing apply. That way we reset the trial to whatever time we had left here. And all of the software settings, etc. that we just set up before we shut it down will be saved as well. You won't need to recreate everything when you reinstall it. With that out of the way, it's not really what you want to do if you want to set up a much longer lasting virtual machine, but if you just need to quickly spin up an older version of an operating system just to test it out, this is a great way. Or of course, debugging software, etc. It's really quick and easy to get going with, though once again, it does require quite a large initial download. Anyways, that's really about it for this relatively quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.